Hey guys, it's Christine. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to go over my July monthly budget as well as give you some updates on the job situation. <laughs> if you haven't seen my last two videos, I did talk about getting a new job. Um, I haven't started yet and in fact, I haven't left my current job. So if you want to see what that's all about, keep watching. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and jump into my budget. I have a new notebook here. It's not really new. I've had it for quite some time. It was just in my stash of things, but I'm going to go ahead and use it. So this is a lined notebook. I just want to show you guys that you don't have to get a dotted journal. You don't have to get a fancy workbook. Um, you could do something on a, you know, piece of paper or a regular notebook just like this. And I am going to add a pop of color that is kind of crooked. That's okay. So July. 2023. When I was looking at my current budget or my upcoming budget for my June 28th paycheck, I noticed that it was covering July bills mostly. And because that will be my last full paycheck, um, my last full, yes, my last full paycheck, um, I'm going to need it to cover all of July because I don't think I'll be getting paid from my new job until like the first week of August. So I was supposed to start um, the first week of July that got pushed back to the second week and now the third week. And I do have a tentative. I'm pretty sure that is the start date. Um, yeah. <laughs> so um, as I'm filming this, it is Sunday, June 25th. So I'm three days away from my last full paycheck and yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and list that income. Um, so that's going to be my paycheck. It's going to be, so my last paycheck, last full check is going to be 23. 69.97. So I am missing, I believe, an hour from this. I want to say it's an hour I missed, um, or I had to leave work early to go to an appointment. And again, um, my boss did not apply my PTO. But anyway, um, so we're going to work with that. And then I'm also expecting my final check. So I am not sure how much that's going to be or when I'm going to get it. State of California, they have, you have 72 hours to get your final check. Um, I'm going to ask them to mail it to me, to my PO box. And that should include, you know, the last days that I work as well as my unused paid time off. I'm going to see if they're actually going to follow the labor law um, because if you guys know back in November, December, they didn't want to pay me the, um, with a COVID supplemental sick leave when my family and I got COVID. I mean, there was a whole California law for that and they didn't want to give it to me. They ended up, do they did end up giving it to me, but like. I mean, I had to show them the law. I had to bring it to their attention. <sighs> anyway, yeah, bitter much. So got my final paycheck. And then I also have, um, I'm expecting a refund of a deposit. Um, so I was in the process of helping my daughter get her own apartment. Um, that's sort of a long story. I'm not going to get too much into it, but I did put down a deposit of $800 and that's going to be refunded to me um, because 
we did, we ended up not going with that apartment. We found a different one. So I got that. I don't know what my final paycheck is going to be. Um, I should probably look that up. Give me one second. Okay, so it's about 33 hours with me maybe working one more day. I'm just going to round that up to 40. And so I can probably safely assume I'm going to put, should I assume 1200? Who knows? I think I'm going to go off of this because this is for sure. But these are, you know, other possible income sources. <laughs> So I have my bills. Let me get my bullet journal. So I did go ahead and set up my bullet journal for July. Sorry, I didn't share that with you guys. Um, um, I find setting up my bullet journal very relaxing. And sometimes when I'm filming the process, it takes away that you know, that sense of relaxation for me doing it. So then I, that's why I've stopped filming that. So I do have my bills written out here. So I'm going to set this off to the side. And okay, this is going to be tricky. So this is bills. I'm going to do rent, etc. Because I do... I do separate things out. So rent, etc. So rent is going to be due on the 1st. Bank of America, I don't have a balance on there. Same with Chase, but I do put the dates on here. That way I know that, hey, if I have been using it, I need to pay it off before then so that I don't end up getting interest on it. Okay, so P, G, and E is due on the 5th, and then water is on the 14th. I'm going to go with the dollar amounts in a little bit, so give me, give me a little time. So other bills, so bills. Okay, now we're going to go to the Bank of America, Chase, the ADND. So when you're setting up your budget, you want to make sure you know when things are due. The easiest way to do that is to look at your either your bank statements to see when they come out. If you get a bill from the, you know, from these companies, then you can go ahead and take a look at that to see when the due date is. Um, I do have some things that come out automatically, like T-Mobile comes out um, through my credit card automatically so that I don't have to worry about um, paying it. I don't even know if, seventh, if the 7th is the actual date that it's due, but that's around about the time that it gets taken out of my um, credit card. And then Old Navy, I do don't have a balance on that. Next I have iCloud. This is another one of those things that I have on automatic payment um, through the credit card so I am guaranteed that I'm not going to be late paying that. So dental insurance again also automated and then city is a credit card I don't have a balance on. We did water, vision. Sorry for the shaking, guys. Vision is due on the 15th. Car insurance. Um, vision is also automatic. Car insurance is not automatic. So I do have to keep an eye on that one. And then I have Hulu and Disney Plus. That is on the 27th. And I just have all these subscriptions coming out on the 27th. Um, Max, I think I am going to cancel just because how tight my budget's going to be. You'll see in a little bit. 
Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty tight, you guys. And Blue Shield 1 and 2 always come out on the last day of the month, whether that's the 28th of February or the 31st of July or the 30th of June. It's the last day of the month. And these come out automatically. Oops. I forgot to put one and two. That is okay. Because I know it's one and two. So those are my bills. That's and when they're due. Okay, so let's do dollar amounts. So here I have rent coming out at seven fifty eight. PG and E. I'm gonna bump this up to two hundred. I normally have it at one sixty, and that's enough. But with my daughter having been here, um, we've been using the water a lot more and the AC a lot more. Um, so yeah. Oh, it's not just because of her. Sorry, the days are getting hotter. <laughs> this is not just her. It's you know it's summer. So water, I am bumping that up to 60 it's usually like 50 or 55 um and i will do the math on that and then ad and d coming out at 30. i might cancel this because my new job will have it included i don't know um t-mobile is at 152. i tried to find out if i would qualify for a cheaper um for a promo they were having where it would be like unlimited for $150, you know, tax included and all the, the bells and whistles. But they said that was only for new customers <laughs> since I am not a new customer. My actual price would have been like 180 and I like my plan as it is. Um, I think my base, I want to say my base owed would be like 120 with like um tax and stuff so this extra stuff is insurance that i really probably don't even need icloud is 10. i still have that on there because i have not gotten a um, external hard drive so that i could um you know use that as backup for my videos and pictures um, it's mostly the pictures I'm worried about, you guys. I have, like, tons and tons of pictures, and I don't want to delete them. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, anywho. Dental is 46, and vision is 37. So this is something I'm not sure I will be changing in the upcoming months. It just depends. Um, I need to find out how... Um, my kids will be affected with my change in job. Um, my daughter will be getting her own job soon, so she um, has been applying and the field that she's in is in high demand, so it's pretty much, it's almost a guarantee that she will get a job. And she said if she doesn't get a job in her field, she will get a job doing something else, but Anyway, it's another story. Um, yeah, I don't want to get into it too much because I want to protect her privacy, and it's just something that for myself, I don't, I don't want to hear the advice um, as well-meaning as you might have it or give it, because um, I'm sort of the person who I I could see both sides. I can argue it with myself. Thank you very much. Like I know already, I know um, the kind of position or the kind of, um, look at me talking and writing at the same time. I kind of know the position I'm possibly putting myself in. So yeah. So Max is actually 10, Google is two. These three come out automatically. Blue Shield also comes out automatically. So 268. And going back to my kids, um, 
I don't know how long, how much longer my kid, my daughter will qualify for my insurance, um, or my son either for that matter. So it's all up in the air. But we're going to budget for July because my new employer, the, um, the benefits won't kick in until 30 days after my start. So that'll be in August. And it, sorry, not just 30 days after my start, but the first of the month after 30 days of my start. So like September 1st. So I'm going to go ahead and add these up. This is nine. One. One. Eight. So 11.18, is that right? I mean, I should... I should probably have this uh, calculated. Well, this is 40 more than usual, and usually I have 978, so that should be correct. And then for these guys, I think it should be 736. Yeah, 736. And I did forget to put allowance. This is going to be the tricky one, you guys, because this is what puts me over. I've tried to do this several times, and I'm just not sure if it's possible, but let's just say for July, I do, um, it's 400 every two weeks so that's like 200 a week so we'll do 800 and my daughter is 35 a week so that'll be 140 so yeah <laughs> I wish I had my oh I do have a calculator hold on hold on Okay, so my total, total is 2794. So total expenses. All right. So as you can see, this will not be covered completely with the paycheck let's see two seven three so we're gonna do this plus two three six nine point nine seven so that would have me negative i would be at negative four two four three three so just considering this paycheck, I would be in the negative negative $400, $424.03. So it's really going to be important that I get this check right here, um, or even this one. So fingers crossed, I do have, um, let me see, I do have money in my my bills account. I still have money there. I still have money in my G1 rent. So actually, I think I would be fine, but I don't want to dig into those reserves if I don't have to. Um, I also have my buffer that has 3000. Um, that's sort of my like my last, probably my last resort emergency. Um, yeah, so there are funds there, but it's getting uncomfortable. Um, another thing, too. Let me do this. So 97, 9, 6, 8, 10, 13, 4. Yeah, so if all these come together, it would be $4,369.97. Again, I do have money in my G1 rent account. That would probably be enough for August, for my August 
rent PG, PG and E and water. So I'm kind of keeping that as a reserve. Um, but we shall see. We'll see how this goes. I wasn't quite expecting it to be this much. But yeah, I did bump up that PG and E amount. And I'm hoping that is going to be enough. I also do have my $500 in my car maintenance fund. Um, that's another thing I don't want to dip into. So there are, there, I do have little cushions here and there. I'm not completely going to be at zero, but it will be uncomfortable. And right now I'm sort of cutting back on some things, um, like going out, going out to eat, you know, things I really want to do, but because of the added expenses that are coming up, um, I am sort of holding back on those things. And that's also why I haven't been posting um, like check-ins because I don't really want to share what I've been buying. Um, yeah, I'm hoping to get back into that maybe in August, maybe. Like I'm not sure if I'm comfortable sharing um, what all is going on in July either. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, thanks so much for your patience and thanks for watching my channel. So we are coming up on 700 subscribers. I want to thank you guys very much for being here, for watching and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps my channel very much. So yeah, that's it. That's it for me. Um, oh, do I want to say that? No, I'll probably save that for another, another time. Um, so yeah, guys, see you guys in the next one. Bye.